Um, and this is kind of good in one way. I'm able to do more videos, usually because of this COVID thing that attacked me. But luckily, it's not as bad as I thought. I, I did take all the boosters and all the shots. Some people don't agree with that, but I don't. I'm not of that mindset. And um, besides, I have a crummy immune system, and my doctors insisted on it. But needles don't scare me. So, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I don't go around poking myself like a, you know, like a voodoo doll or something, you know, but they don't scare me. And, um, you know, that's my past. And I don't care, it's a crummy past, but it's just the way it is. And, um, I beat myself up over it, and that's caused me to be, uh, just, have, uh, disabled, being disabled with my, somewhat, with my walking and my posture and stuff, which I have tons of rehab I gotta do on it, but that's another story. The point is, is that I gotta, I can be able to do these more videos than usual, and Tyrone asked me about the difference between putting a tongue blocking on a, for an 8 bar blues or a 12 bar blues, and I replied back to him that there isn't a difference, but um, I have a brand new B flat harp I found, Honer Marine Band, and in the old days, you know, it comes, well, it does have the instructions of some sort to tell us what the harmonica is and everything, but they used to include little uh, songs like, uh, uh, you know, Three Blind Mice, Shortening Bread, uh, Shenandoah, I recall. And those were really great for uh, playing straight harmonica, major harmonica stuff. So, you know. Or they'd have a. Uh, when the Saints come marching in, that was a big hit, yeah. Now, my tongue has been on the harmonica the whole time. Hi, Saturday Cat. She's an old cat retreating for uh, thyroid problems, but she's not been that cooperative. She appeared, her name is Saturday, and this is the truth. She was left here uh, by the people that had the place before, and I, we had dogs for a little while, she was scared, the dogs and the parrots. But then we saw a black cat, you know, running around here a little bit. And then one night, on a Friday night, she decided she'd trust us. And she uh, came up to the deck, and just as it turned into Saturday morning, she came to the threshold back to her, you know, her kitchen, and maybe they'd let her in before. And then um, we looked at her name tag on her collar, and it was Saturday. So her name is Saturday on the name collar, and it's Saturday morning that she came. <laughs> she comes back to her house, and and she's been an incredibly loyal, wonderful animal since then. You know, I mean, people buy these expensive birds. I mean, some of the ones I have are, are rescues, and they buy them, and they're wonderful too. But Here's this old risk, this cat that, you know, a lot of people would just shoo away, you know, shows up out of the dirt and the cold, and she's just an incredible animal, so there is no price tag on animals. You know, you get one and the price tag goes out if you bought it or if you get it as a rescue. There is no more price on it if you really love it. But anyway, so I also love the harmonica like you guys do, and, and so... There is no difference, also, in, uh, speaking of no difference, there's no difference in playing a tongue blocking on an 8 bar blues or a 12 bar blues. So, um, and the thing I was just doing, that's really good practice, any of those nursery rhymes you can think of, for tongue blocking. So you put your tongue, like that, or your tongue, and you put it on the harmonica, like, like that, and... <laughs> You just go up and down with your tongue. And you get these kind of other little extra sounds like... Which you can't get when you go... When you just pucker. So, after you start doing the... Um, the tongue blocking for a while, it really becomes natural, but it won't be. It's like, you know, when you first start to drive a car, uh, like a stick shift especially. I remember 
doing that the first time. And then man, the guy was with pretty mad because it was his Volkswagen. And I had said, oh, I know how to drive a stick ship. Well, I was pretty stoned, I admit. And um, he was so was he, or he wouldn't have let me touch it. But nonetheless, we got through it. But it was a rough ride between Atlanta and Rome, Georgia, let me tell you. Anyway, um, so it's no different whether you're playing a, you know, kind of a classical thing. Or a blues thing. Or a folk thing. See, that little... You just can't get that with the, uh, with the puckering. You can get... The kind of a vibrato thing. Or... Or... Okay, that's without my, without the tongue, but... So my tongue is fluttering up and down, like... Just hitting the tap in the harmonica. So now, a typical 12-bar thing with that, I do, um... The thing that we've talked about before, the, um... Kind of harmonica shuffle thing, the um, thing that sounds like. Okay, that's a tall bar blues with a tongue blocking. Now, do the 8-bar blues, uh, tongue blocking, so it'd be uh, 32 beats in that, 12 bars, 48 beats. So there's no difference, again. If my tongue is on the harmonica for an 8-bar thing, like it is for the 12-bar thing. And so... <laughs> Kind of that. I'll try it again. Okay, one more time on that eight bar thing. Let's try it one more time on the eight bar thing. Let's do it a slower thing. <laughs> so my tongue is on the thing, like that, and um. Again, it's on it because it's just on it. Now, I know I've been doing this for years, and some of you guys haven't touched it, but you can, you have a tongue, and I got one, thank God, you know, most of us do, and if you don't have one, then you have to just get around it. That's a different situation, though, and um, there are for sure people no doubt there are people that play harmonica without tongues, and God bless them. But just the same, if you have a tongue and you play the harmonica, be grateful. And if you don't have one, well, there's a lot of ways to get around it, too. But you... Why am I... Anyway, back to... Let's try to get another 8-bar blues with them. So that's a one and a five and a four.
like it was already clogged up. So, you see that's a one five four um, thing instead of being on the on the eight bars, the first two bars on the one, the uh, second on the four, the um, I mean the third on the four, the fourth bar on the one, the uh, the um, fifth bar on the five, and the sixth bar on the four. Um, you have it switched up like they do um, when uh, you do the quick change, like a band's playing a, a typical 12 bar blues. called a quick change on the one somebody says okay 12 bar blues and e with quick change on the one it means they're on the one on the e and then uh, they go to the four for one for one bar and then back to the uh, one to complete it a shuffle thing and you're playing behind it sounds cool I mean, you don't need to do anything different when you're playing harmonica to that shuffle beat I mean any beat you can just stay on that you know when they make the quick change as a harmonica player but if you're the bass player you want to know or another guitar player and if you're the harmonica player or the piano player you still want to know because you might want to do something different like Like, cause you'll go with them, you'll go, like, one, two, three, four. <laughs> so, you know what I mean, you, you can add that quick change to them with the, with the band, or just stay on that, on that one. Or whatever you're doing, you know, for your thing. So, the point of this, this video, um, I'm a little bit spacey today. I haven't gotten much sleep. And, but I wanted to point out to Tyrone and anybody else interested that truly, um, tongue blocking is a great thing. And I just can't emphasize it enough to, to do it. I mean, to really put your tongue on the harmonica and just go... Now, I'm coming down to the wooden part of the heart. My tongue is actually on this, uh, yeah, on this, the wooden part of the harmonica here at that point. Now, when I say your tongue is always, it doesn't mean it's always on it. It means because you couldn't do the, if it was always on it, you wouldn't, you just have it on it. No, that's not it. It's tongue blocking is the technique so that it's on it and it's off of it. I'm doing that little with my tongue going up and down but it's off of it or doing this um and I guess you could call that puckering at that point when your tongue is off of it but it's really not it's just really all part of working your, with your tongue on it. 
Now, at the beginning, it's going to feel like a, maybe like an eel in there, or something like that, just fishing around, you know, kind of trying to find your, your notes. But that's okay, because eventually, you'll get that eel to turn into a flying fish, and man, you'll be able to cruise on this thing. I mean, it less, especially for the kind of stuff, the blue stuff, um, that I think most of us are black thorn up for originally anyway, uh, especially the tongue blocking is, is great for that. I mean, and I, and I would suppose that a lot of country people that play major things like I mean, that truly, without the tongue, that has a wonderful place, of course, in playing the harmonica. There are fabulous country players that I probably play that do play rings around me that, that they play they play with their puck with puckering style. That's all puckering. So it's not like one is necessarily better than the other in some ways. But I personally think, and I think a lot of people that play harmonica would agree with me, that if you play blues harmonica, especially, you're going to want to learn to uh, to use your tongue, uh, tongue block on it, because that's exactly what it means. You're blocking notes off to be able to get these single tones. So I'm dragging from my left to my right. If I was puffering, you'd tell her. And you, it's just not as gutsy tone. So now, if I was doing that same type of idea in a major key again, like a kind of a folky song or country kind of song, I, and if I'm not tongue blocking, it might sound like. wonderful things without your tongue for sure but imagine though I decided I want to do it like that maybe the first verse go like and then I wanted to put it with my tongue Switch back and forth. But the thing is, is that I think it depends on the style, you know, you're aiming for, say you're playing uh, some harmonica with a, a reggae thing, a beat like, like that, which I've done only a little bit in my life, but you know, I think you're going to want to have that. sound you can make with your tongue. Then... (laughs) 
I think you'd rather have one. And um, a lot of people, at least when I was beginning to walk, the reason I hadn't done it before was the fear of it. You know, like, oh, it's, it sounds too difficult. It's just not going to work out for me. But it's just not true. And I know I talked about this in other lessons, but it's nothing wrong to bring it up again. So there is no difference to, end, to talk about you know, the end of this uh, thing now I'm saying is that no difference in a tongue blocking on an 8 bar or 12 bar blues or anything else. Tongue blocking is tongue blocking. Puckering is. Together. Mixing it up is cool. Oh. I mean, I remember first seeing the guy that I just told me how to play harmonica, and the guy didn't even a band and been doing it for years. He never tongue blocked, and he sounded fine. But you know, when I found another guy that did around that town, um, and he showed me the difference. All of a sudden, the guy that I'd been listening to, his tone sounded much thinner. He sounded more like. You must have been. So. Plus, you get that little extra thing when you're doing that tongue blocking, that little thing at the end of the note. You know what I mean? So. Kind of flattens out there but with the tongue blocking, you get that little extra kick. <laughs> anyway, I couldn't imagine living without it, you know. I couldn't imagine. Um, there a, a lick I used with R.L. Burnside a lot was a. Or a. And it couldn't be done without the tongue blocking thing. I mean, it could, let's see, I learned that like, from Johnny Woods, the harmonica player in Mississippi that I all used to play with. Just hearing him, and he was, I was just picked up on it. And that note is six, the first time it's six. Six blow, five draw, five, four draw. Six blow, five draw, four draw, but it's a. It's got to be, you know, the. the da 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 Or up in the ninth. Nine draw, blow, nine draw. Eight draw. Let's see what it's like on the bottom here. Three blow. Horse two draw. But I prefer a three blow. Two draw bent. So all that's with my tongue on it. Without it, it would sound like. So that's a fun lick for you guys to practice. That's a really cool Mississippi lick that I truly learned from uh, the great Mr. Johnny Woods, uh, who lived around our own. He's a really nice, cool guy. Anyway, hope this helps. Have a good evening, morning, or night, wherever y'all are. And um, thanks a lot for.
for listening to what I'm trying to I'm doing. I really, really appreciate uh, getting a chance to explain a little bit about that I, what I've been lucky enough to learn to be able to be around people to you guys out there. And I, and I mentioned this before, you know, when you have a chance, if you can get around anybody, go to churches. Oh, God, I forgot to mention this. Go to black churches, white or black people, Asians, anybody. Go to the black church. Go to the Hispanic churches. Go to any churches that have got got some fire going on instead of the typical blatant, boring, you know, white churches that we grew up in, you know. Sorry. <laughs> facts are facts. And souls get saved, I would say, more often than those hip old black churches that I happen to be lucky enough to go around a little bit. Um, there's another story with that. With our, I went to R.L.'s church right here. We had a revival, and three of his kids were on the sinner's bench, and I was in the back. But that's... Oh, Lord have mercy. That's another story. Okay. Y'all have a good evening. Morning. Night. Bye-bye. And tongue block. Tongue block. Any more questions about it, please feel free to ask me.